And ladies and gentlemen, driver of the Budweiser number nine, Casey Kane. Every time I look up, now of course Casey this time, now he's got not one, not two, not three, not four, but seven. It's a flock. They are flying in formation, so coming down tell. the golden staircase here at the Rio. You can tell the good looking guys got, you can tell how good looking they are by how many women they've got escorting. Exactly. Them. And now we are getting the photographic evidence for the Stewie Award. Casey overfloweth with women. Yep. <laughs> so we can document this for the history books. <laughs> <laughs> she won't hurt you, I promise. And she didn't mess up the hair too much. <laughs> we talk a lot about NASCAR. We talk a lot about other things that you guys like to do as fun. But you look back to the season finale. Not at Homestead, but at the dirt track at Lowe's. You had a great night, and you had a great night, Tony. Yes, we did. Yeah, we had a, uh, you know, Joey Saldana drives our World of Outlaw Sprint car, and that was the final night. And he won his uh, 20th uh, A-Man of the Year, which was, I think, the fifth fifth driver to ever do that in, in the world of Outlaws. So that was a pretty, pretty big accomplishment for himself and, and for all of uh, everybody at Casey Kane Racing. So that was, that was a neat night. And then Tony's, uh, Tony's guy, they went and won the, the championship for four straight years. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. It was, uh, you know, that's something that, that uh, Casey and I are both pretty passionate about. And we've kind of been hand in hand, so to speak, uh, in this category from uh, 2001 to present, we've had, uh, open wheel teams in, in both uh, USAC, the United States Auto Club, and the World of Outlaws Sprint Cars. So uh, Casey's got two teams in the World of Outlaws. I have two teams in the World of Outlaws. And uh, I don't know, how many cars did you have in USAC this year? We just had one uh, with Brad Sweet, but we, uh, we have tons of cars. We just didn't race as many this year. We had to cut back a little bit. And, and we're just going to kind of hit and miss in, the, in that next year and race some pavement, some dirt, non-wing, winged, uh, you know, whatever it is, and then two full World of Outlaw teams again. So what are you going to be doing in the off season? I'm I'm going to go on vacation for three days next week, and then we have uh, I get to uh, get to go to Fontana uh, in in a week and a half and drive uh, the first. It'll be the first Ford that I that I've drove since uh, two, 2003 would have been the last time uh, that I was in a Ford. So it'll be it'll be the first time with our Roush uh, Roush Yates Richard Petty Motorsports combination there and. And see how that goes. It's a tire test for Goodyear, so I'm I'm looking forward to that. Uh, then from there, we have some photo shoots and uh, commercials and things for Budweiser, and then uh, it's Christmas. So I don't I don't know what else. I'd like to get in the mountains and, and maybe do some snowmobiling and uh, find a cabin or something in Colorado. I think that'd be a good time. I told Casey today that uh, you know Casey and I will sneak off and and run some sprint car races here and there together and. Casey uh, kind of grew up running the wing sprint cars before you got in USAC, and I was just the opposite. I ran USAC and didn't really run the wing sprint cars, and, and I was telling Casey earlier today when we were doing the, uh, the uh, Myers Brothers uh, luncheon today that I was uh, considering sneaking off to an undeclosed location uh, and trying to run some, some races uh, here in an area where it's a little warmer right now, but uh, to try to uh, catch up with him because he, he, this, what, what do you weigh, Casey, like 130 pounds? 140. 140. I went 185. <laughs> Casey gets out of a wing sprint car running 30 laps, and, and he looks just like he does right now. I get out of a wing sprint car. I just got. I look like I just got out of the shower and, and sweating everywhere. Normally, so. Squad 51 is coming up to your <laughs> yeah. car to make sure yeah. that you don't I'm need oxygen. like crazy, and I need <laughs> oxygen. And Casey gets out like, now what do I do? So, uh, so I, I, I got to get a little practice here. I got to try to keep up with you a little better at Eldora next year. Yeah, well, we're we're definitely going to go back. It was. Uh, we had a great time at Eldora last year uh, during the Kings Royal weekend. Uh, I raced with Tony for part of the night, and uh, we raced two nights in a row, which was, was a lot of fun. I hope that that weekend falls right for us again this year where we have an off weekend and we can do it because it was, it was one of the highlights of my year was racing, uh, racing those races too. We were sitting there, and, and you know our, our transporters with the World of Outlaws are just like our, our cup transporters. They're 53-foot semi-trailers and, and uh, semis going down the road. And we're sitting there in our cars. They had we each had our, our full time teams uh, beside us, and uh, we were in the 360 division versus the 410s. And uh, so we're standing there, and we're standing on our trailers, and all we can see is the big semi trailers beside us. We had the little small trailers, so 
we, we the guys that pay the bills got the smaller trailers of the group. Yeah, ours are, ours will get up and down the road a little quicker than theirs, though. <laughs> yeah. We can we can get into those those smaller areas.